Charles Barkley, <clears throat> pardon me, excuse me, known as one of the greatest basketball players ever, changed the game of sports commentating for former athletes and product endorser, etc. He's got a big decision to make. Does he join the LIV golf tournament as an announcer? The Saudi Arabia led situation. He had a real interesting tape. He said everybody in pro sports has taken blood money. That, And if you're successful, you have. Because the millions that are paid are ridiculous. And let me explain. I'm all about you getting your bag. I ain't going to tell no one man or no woman about your bag. Get your bag. However, don't sit here and act like you're getting 20, 30, 40, and 50 million and them piece of trash owners who are worth billions that they aren't <clears throat> special privilege, usually white privilege. Point being is this. Teachers should be getting that kind of money. People who really put their lives at risk and do things should be getting paid to be compensated. And why is it such this, this all this? Yes, yeah, blood money. Because if the sweatshops that promote the shoes, the shirts, all that stuff, somebody has to be at the bottom for them to prosper on the top. So that's how it works in the thing. And he write about the blood money. They've all gotten crazy amounts of money that you didn't have to go to school per se to get it. You know, you happen to have opportunities. When you imagine if everyone could start off with a 401k plan or have a situation where they could invest in stocks and bonds. And even if you're in crypto or not, or however, whatever you into, you know, if you was off and popping, everybody had a slot to start off with a certain amount, the playing field would it be interesting to see how prosperous things would be. But he write about what he says about uh, all of them because they have, you know. And besides, does you have to always hear about people's guaranteed contracts and this and that and the other. That's all people talk about. This whole thing with Kevin Durant, how much did contract and this contract and guys who are discontent, discontent and they're still going to get 30 40 50 million dollars You know, I'm not feeling sorry for Russell Westbrook or Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant. None of them. <clears throat> Even if you on the bench, you're going to get three to five mil scrubs that are considered warmers who are still good enough to do what they do, but they would be considered scrubby rubby in terms of starting with the top tier. But bottom line is you still get in the bag. So um, he's right. You take deals, you get deals. Barclays aren't being uh, smart about it. <clears throat> Unlike what Tiger Woods was popping off saying, look, you all getting overpaid. You're going to get endorsements. That's where the bag is at. And someone will pay you that kind of money and how much is guaranteed. There is a difference between guaranteed and what they're talking about. Read the fine print. Kyler Murray got 160 guaranteed. It's a $230 million deal. But there's always incentives and clauses and bonus. So what does it all mean in English? It ain't always what you think it means once you pay the taxes and you got this and you got that. You got incentives. But you will get a certain bag. But I ain't have no problem with it. <clears throat> but... Everybody's overpaid. The owners are the most overpaid they all are. Anyway, give me your thoughts and takes. Charles Barker said, Pro Sports, all have gotten the blood money. What do you think? Please hit like, subscribe. And that goes for music artists, actors, actresses, the whole nine. The whole entertainment, any form you want to call it, is overpaid. But if you get your bag, I ain't no hater. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And hey, that's what the market pays unless people choose to turn it off. I'm out.